Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at, and I'm gonna show you how to install the Global Link Locking Baggage Door Latch. Well, right off the bat, the biggest difference between this baggage door latch and pretty much all the other ones on our website is gonna be that the other ones are going to be more so replacements for baggage door latches you already have, whereas this one is going to be a more universal fit. The biggest difference is that the latching mechanism here is going to be on this backing plate, whereas on the other ones, it's going to be on the latch itself. So um, this will reach through and control it, but uh, th where this comes in handy is with the thickness of your door. You're gonna be able to fit this latch to many different door thicknesses. Our door is only three quarters of an inch thick and this did not work. So uh, we tested it out, tried to make it work and it, w it just wouldn't work for us. But having a baggage door latch, a uh, slam latch like this, is gonna make it so that you can drop it. You have the creature comforts of a, um, a more expensive RV, uh, but you can put them on uh, your, this is an older RV, it's a 2011, so they didn't even have slam latches back then. Um, and um, I installed these on my personal camper, and I have to say, this, this style of latch is so much easier to use, you'll find yourself using your baggage doors more often because it's easier to use. Uh, the one thing I don't like about the cam style is that if they're not lined up perfect, you're not gonna be able to catch this lip, which is what you have to catch for it to stay closed. And that's how your doors get all uh, crooked and, and um, they won't seal all the way. This is gonna provide a nice tight seal. Uh, the owner of this RV um, actually works here at E-Trailer and they only had a lock here. So there wasn't even a quick way when he was out camping to be able to you know, hurry up and quick flip the cam style latch and keep the door closed. Uh, this is gonna allow him to get in and out of his baggage doors without having to always carry his keys to lock up. And what's really nice about this system is you not only get the creature comforts of being able to just drop your door and it'll close and latch, but you can get all the locks to key to like um, so that all of your, your door latches are gonna have the same exact key. This is what our key ring looked like before we replaced them all, and we're putting four latches on all of the storage bays. There's seven keys on here. He's gonna be able to take the one off that opens up his front door, and then put on the proper one that locks up this baggage door, because that'll control all of them. For example, again, I have these on my personal camper, and these are the only two keys on my key ring. I have one for the front door and one for all the baggage doors. As far as the installation goes, it's not too bad. Uh, the biggest thing is that might make you nervous is that you have to cut a three and a half by three inch hole in the side of your camper. We'll show you how to measure that out because it's not exactly that. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the installation. To begin our installation, we need to remove our old lock because our new latch is gonna be going right in its place. If you'd like to keep the old lock for extra security, you can put the latch to the left or the right of the lock and the rest of the process is gonna be the same. We'll just take our, take the screw out of here. Make sure we take this tab off. Grab a set of channel locks or you can get a wrench and we'll have to take off this nut. Take this off and then pop our lock out the front. To get our new latch in place, we're gonna have to cut a hole in the door on our camper. So we're lining it up. We already did the driver's side door, so we know how, um, how big this hole's supposed to be. What we're doing is we're lining the top of this up flush with the bottom of this door. And we're gonna take something sharp and poke it through. Make sure we're still square. see through and then we're gonna poke another hole and 
We'll do this for all four holes, then we can drill some pilot holes and uh, then get our hole cut out. Uh, we can take a small pilot hole, drill through our marks and through to the other side. This is going to give us our four corners of where to start with when cutting this hole out. We took a straight edge, connected all four of the dots. We're going to cut this hole out. We know that our hole is going to have to be slightly larger on all four sides than this, but we'll at least get it to this point and then we can uh, cut out a little bit more. We connected the dots that we drilled through our door and then what we'll have to do is we have to include these little support nibs too in all four corners. So that's what we did is the four holes we just drilled are for the four screw holes but we measured out the from top to bottom and from side to side of what these measured and drew a larger square and that's the one we're going to cut out. We're using a multi-tool to be able to cut this out. You can use a Dremel or um, if you have a small saw you can drill four pilot holes in a, the uh, corners and a jigsaw would work just fine. All right here, we notice this on the other door, there's going to be a piece of metal. It's a support bracket for our old lock. So we'll cut the whole thing out and then we'll have to bend the piece out to pull that metal piece out. We can take our front piece, peel it off. It should break off at the bottom. There's that little piece of metal that we're going to have to uh, slide out. You should be able to peel this foam off or push it in, whichever. And then this metal piece can slide right out. We can take our latch and test fit. Make sure everything's fitting properly. It's fitting nice and tight, so that's good. What we're going to have to do is we'll have to cover this hole up with um, probably use an extra piece of that material we just cut out and cover that up. One of the biggest problems with this older style of lock and the latches that uh, the cam style latches that are on RVs is that a lot of moisture gets in behind there and this insulation will actually soak up water. This is mold that you see forming and this is all the water coming out of just that one little section. So we'll get this in, try to get this dried out and put our new latch in and keep all that water out. For the bolts that come in your kit to get this latch in place, um, our door, our baggage door is only three quarters of an inch thick. If it's any thicker, the bolts that come in your kit are gonna be just fine. But for ours, it's too thin. So the bolts will bottom out um, in the latch before you can get it tight. So we're taking some stainless steel bolts that are the same thread pitch. Um, the reason why we're putting some anti-seize on there is because the housing is aluminum and our stainless steel bolts um, will corrode pretty quickly because of the dissimilar metals. So we're just putting some anti-seize on here and then we can get our latch up. We could line our backing plate up and get our screws started in. When tightening these down, you want to be sure not to over tighten. Um, again, that's why we went with the a little bit smaller screw um, so that we can get it uh, just the way we want. With our backing plate all attached, we can test it out. What we found is if you go to pull this latch and this does not come back out, you can loosen these screws up a little bit and um, it'll take a little bit of pressure off this mechanism. If you crank down on them, this will stay in, but you want it to pop back out. Your kit will come with a striker plate. Um, this inside door frame is really thick, so we might be able to just use that as our, as our latching mechanism. Uh, but we are going to try to install the striker plate to take out some of this gap. And the way it installs, is you open up your door and it'll go right on the inside of your door just like this and you have two screws in your kit that you'll screw down through this uh, bracket 
and uh, we'll see if it helps us out at all. Put that striker plate on, we'll test the door again, and we can see it's a much more firm close, and it took out all of that play that we had before. With everything installed, that's gonna do it for the installation.